Good evening. Welcome to Paint Night. My name is Karen Shook, and I'm going to be your art instructor for the next two hours. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I lived in Chicago for about 12 years, where I instructed art classes and I did hand-painted murals. My artwork was featured in this magazine, Decorate with Paint. This was actually my home in Chicago. I have four children, three boys, one girl, Trevor, Peyton, Montana, and Talon. My oldest son, Trevor, uh, is a professional boxer. Not MMA, it's just strictly boxing. Last weekend, he fought on the Bradley versus Marquez card in Vegas, and he won. He's now 13 and 0. You're probably wondering why I'm telling you this. Well, there's a reason. When Trevor was seven and started boxing, I decided to hide a pair of boxing gloves in everything I paint. So, if you look at this painting here, this is a painting that I did. It's a place in my hometown, and there's a pair of boxing gloves hidden in the flowers. You would never know it unless I told you, but those boxing gloves are in there. So, I would like you to think about what is special to you, or what is what represents you. And at the end of the evening, when we're all finished with our painting, I want you to hide something in your painting. So we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Everybody here has gold star effort. We don't give out grades. This is all about having fun. And please, please remember, there are no mistakes in art. We're working with an acrylic medium, which means it's pretty easy to fix mistakes if you think you made a mistake. You can either cover it up, or you can turn it into something, and that's what I'm here for, is to help you do that. So please, don't get upset. Don't feel like, oh my gosh, I've never painted before. It's all good. We are going to have fun, and you are going to produce a beautiful piece of artwork to take home. Now, you all have paints at your desk. If there is any moment that you feel like you need a little bit more green or you need a little bit more paint, whatever color, please feel free to get up. You don't need to ask. Go up to the paint station and go ahead and get your own paint. It's all good. I want to talk about some techniques. First of all, we're not just going to be painting with one brush. We're going to be using a couple different brushes. I have names for my brushes, which makes it easier for you to understand where, what brush we're using. For example, this is Big Daddy. This is Big Mama. This is Crazy Hair. And this is Baby. So when we're painting, I'm going to say, okay, everybody needs to have Big Daddy in their hand. We're going to be putting in our sky. Everybody will know, instead of me saying, okay, well, we're going to be using the level three professional. No, forget it. I have fun wings for my brushes. So we all are on the same page, okay? Also, I want to talk about how I'm going to get you to do this. Maybe you've never painted. Maybe you have. And you're probably sitting there going, oh my gosh, how is this woman going to get me to do that? It's very simple. Let's say we're painting this golf course. And I need you to paint the putting green. So let's just put in our horizon line. That's where the sky meets the ground. And there might be times where I'm going to say, okay, I need you to hold your brush perpendicular to your painting. What's that? Well, that's at a 90 degree angle or straight up and down from your painting. So I'm going to use some terminology, but I should be very clear so you know exactly what I need you to do. So let's put some mountains in here. Add a bush. And let's say we put a tree here too. Okay? Now, we need to put in our putting green. For those of you that don't golf, the putting green is the place where the flagpole is and the hole, and that's where you simply put your ball into the hole. Most people might think, okay, the putting green is round, but that's not the correct perspective. How am I going to get you to paint the correct perspective? Here's how. I'm going to say, 
Okay guys, we're at that point. So right now we're going to paint a hot dog. And you're gonna look at me like, oh my gosh, is this crazy lady? No, let me explain. We're gonna paint a hot dog. Okay, so we paint a hot dog. Looks like a hot dog to me. And we're going to put a bun on the top. All right, let's put a bun on the top. Now I'm gonna say, all right, I want you to put a half a bun on the bottom. Okay. At this point, I'm gonna say, everybody stand up, pat yourself on the back, you did such a great job, you painted your hot dog with your bun and your half, but you didn't just paint a hot dog with the bun and half. You know what you painted? You painted a putting green with two sand traps. Let me show you how. We're gonna put our flagpole in with our flag. There's the hole. Doesn't that look like a putting green with two sand traps? But I was able to get you to do the correct shape. That's how I'm going to teach you. I have ways of getting you to understand the shapes that I need in your painting and we are gonna have a blast. So let's get started. Okay, so we go ahead and we paint, blah, blah, blah. Now, there's gonna be times where I'm gonna play music, okay? When the music's playing, that's great. Feel free to talk, feel free to, you know, just paint and express yourself. However, when the music stops, that's when you know I need your full attention. So you need to be quiet, and you need to give me your attention, and I will instruct you on the next step. Everybody has their own technique. Everybody has their own style. I love that. Please don't feel like your painting needs to turn out exactly like mine. It shouldn't. If you feel like you want a different color sky, go ahead and do it. If you want to add a tree, if you want to add a boat, whatever, feel free. This is your painting. And I'm just here to give you guidelines, and I will help you as much as I need to. Help me help you. From that Jerry Maguire, I don't know. Anyway, okay, so we're all done with our painting at this point. Everybody is so happy and so proud, and I'm so proud of all of you. There's going to be nothing but positive comments in this room from now until the very end. This is a painting that one of my students did. I want to give you a real quick story. First of all, we're at the end, and it's time to now hide that little something that means something special to you. This was a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge and the Twin Towers. I tried to incorporate a history lesson with the students on 9-11. I was going around and I was asking the students, you know, what are some ideas that you could hide in your painting? And this is a true story. This little boy raised his hand and he said, Miss Shook, my dad died on 9-11. He was a police officer and he was there. Can I hide his badge with his number in my painting? Okay, I about started crying. Do you have any idea how special this painting is to that little boy to be able to hide his father's badge and number in this painting. It was an awesome experience. Loved it. So, I want you to think of what you can hide in your painting, and then we're going to, of course, sign your painting. When I sign my painting, I try to combine my, the letter of my, the first letter of my first name and the first letter of my last name. You can sign your painting however you'd like. I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight. I had a great time, and I hope to see you again soon. I want to remind you that we do offer private parties here at Paint Night. Please, please go on our website, info at paintnight.com, and post your comments. And I hope that you will also Post pictures of your paintings that you produced. Go on Facebook. Let the whole world know of your accomplishments because you all did an awesome job. 
I love it. Remember, info at paintnight.com. And feel free to make comments about the instructors. Remember, we do offer private lessons. Feel free to call or, again, info at paintnight.com. I really, really had a good time, and I hope you all drive safe and get home safe and tell everybody about your experience. Thank you so much.